Hey guys, my name is SimC and welcome back to some more Elder Scrolls Total War. We are playing as the Kingdom of Skyrim, of course. Now, in the last episode, we managed to take this settlement of Tota... Tota... Umbu, I think that's how you say it. These red... I just, th I just think everything in Elder Scrolls Total War is just so... I think Elder Scrolls lore is just so hard for me to pronounce. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Westeros, I find, is way more easier. But nevertheless, we had a battle there um, against the Four Bears, one of the Red Guard factions, and actually the other Red Guard faction, the Crown, managed to help us and uh, had a pretty good victory. Now, I was going to push against these two settlements. As you see here, the Crown has actually taken this settlement, and they just recently lost that. They had that, but looking at this army, they're about to take it back. I have managed to think, I was thinking, fuck, we're going to miss out on so many settlements if we don't get in there. Now, I was thinking we could go into the desert and... Um, try and find them, but we, we managed to scout along the coast and managed to find these settlements. Now, we are uh, besieging here at Sentinel. There's only four units, two units of forebear swords and two units of forebear archers. We have King Ragnar there. Now, I am going to auto-resolve this battle um, because at Sunhold here, there's the faction leader, King Maram Mar Maramal. He looks quite good. Three-star command, not very, but he's got crazy authority and chivalry. And there's a pretty decent army there. I do have the Prince with an okay sort of host. But uh, not the entirety of it. Because I did split it off to go and take this settlement. Um, yeah, with, uh, who did I send? Kodorir. We also managed to um, recruit some mercenaries. Alkari, I think that's how you say it. And I also managed to adopt someone at Solitude. Advar. Um, four star loyalty, two star command, 24 years of age. He looks quite good. And we're going to be sending him over to here because Dagenfell managed to rebel. We retook it. We're just having mass problems in this particular settlement because of the Daedric cultists and just trying to convert it. It's basically the religion, uh, the religious unrest and the corruption. So we do need to get these buildings underway, like the Town Watch, which gives us law and happiness. But I obviously don't want to be paying too much attention over there. Okay, so we're going to take this settlement now. But before I do that, let's go into the victory conditions. We need to control 42 regions. Uh, we, sorry, we need to control 50 regions. We currently control 42. We need to hold Solitude, Windhelm, Markarth, Dragonstar, Eleanor, and Jihanna for 97 turns. We're currently 43 turns in, and we still are still holding them. We need to el eliminate the Hordes of Oblivion, the Clan of the Four Bears, and the Tribunal Temple. So once we defeat the Four Bears, we're going to have to switch to the other side of the continent and push down there. I might... Hmm. Haven't decided. Should I... I'm trying to think what's quicker. It's definitely going by ship, probably. Like, pushing all the way up here and then pushing down through here to get... Because from what I can remember, they're, like, roughly... roughly here in Morrowind. Um... Nevertheless, let's continue on with fighting the Four Bears. So we're going to auto-resolve this faction, this battle. It's a 4-1 uh, with Ragnar's Night Attack, so we'll take it. We lost 65 men, and they lost 333, so a solid victory all in all. And we'll sack getting 4,500. That is a solid sack. Now, straight away, we are going to double-time it over to... Um, my lands uh, over to here, which I actually can make it. Now, I don't want it to rebel, obviously, so I'm going to leave someone really quite loyal. Um, not you. We'll, we'll leave him, along with one unit of archers, just in case. And that should keep the public order. It's yellow. Oh, it's... It's green. We'll put it on low tax rates. I might as well rec can recruit a merchant. So, now we have better odds of taking Sunhold, which is brilliant. So, what we're going to do first, we're going to do a save, and then we're going to end the turn. We are blocking the port there, and we are besieging here. Okay, I think we're all good. Recruitment-wise, we have some art, uh, some units here. So, what I'm going to do is, we don't really need this fleet, because seeing as we've already got one here. So, we're going to double-time this one back. Oh, we can actually put units on there. How far are reinforcements from Old Gate? I just need to be qu uh, very, be very careful. Uh, try not to push because, like, it's just like 
over on their land. <laughs> I could try to get military access, but I don't know if they're going to be wanting to go for it. Now, speaking of diplomacy, we're not going too good with the orcs. They just keep on rejecting. So if we are going to give them money, we're going to have to pay out the butt. <laughs> like, we're going to have to pay so much. It's going to be ridiculous. I offered them, like, 8,000, I think it was. But then I end up spending the money on buildings in Skyrim and whatnot. Okay, um, obviously I can't tell what this building is and I don't really want to. A mission, send an emissary to House Hula. Okay, I was actually doing that, but I forgot about it. <laughs> I couldn't seem to find them. Writing, yeah, it's just not looking too good over here. Maybe with some of these buildings it might help, but I don't know how long we're going to be able to hold it. Um, that's why I recruited a general here. Advar, who's gone up a one command, and he's also increasing his loyalty. So we're going to pop you on here. And you are going to go all the way over there. Uh, how many turns is it going to take? Three turns. That's not too bad. Okay. So it looks like reinforcements have arrived there. I might actually send this reinforcements down here to go help with him. I think I might wait one more turn. Because I feel like the clan of the forebears might actually come and help me <laughs> in this siege. And hopefully... We'll be able to kill the... Will help me kill the faction leader. That might even get rid of the faction outright. He looks alright. Brandir. Four star command. Three star loyalty. 26 years of age. It's not like we need more generals though anyway. To be honest. 8,000 to get 25% happiness. That is a lot. I guess we can kind of save up for that. Obviously it costs 1,000. Okay. This is some interesting developments. Let's have a look down what's happening here. The following factions have declared their allies. The Clan of the Forebears, the Clan of the Crown. Fucking hell. The following factions have declared a truce. The following factions have become a client state, abandoning their independence and sovereignty. Ah. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted whatsoever. Because we need to destroy them. That's a part of our victory conditions. Now that they're their vassal and have bent the knee to them, that's put us in a very interesting situation. Fucking hell. Um, well, I've got a couple of options here. I want to rally up my men. Actually, I'm going to put them onto the ships because I don't want to have a diplomatic penalty for being in their lands. Uh, I just need to think, because if we attack them, it could cause a war. Um, well, let's actually negotiate with them. I want to see their map information. Uh, you want that much per turn? I can give you 20,000 of a token of goodwill. But I don't really want to do that, because we might be going to war with them. We'll give you 1,500. Oh, fuck. I offered them military access, but they rejected it anyway. I wouldn't imagine they have that many left. Um, okay, we need fifty. Re we need to hold. F we need fifty regions. We currently hold forty-three. We need to eliminate the hordes of oblivion, the clan of the forebears, and the tribunal temple. Who are these guys allied with? Are they allied with the Tamriel Empire? They are. The thing is, we need to get rid of them. Um, we need them to be eliminated. So, what do I do? Do I? Well, I could declare war on them, but then in doing so, uh, we're going to be at war with the Tam... Well, we're going to have to break our alliance with the Tamriel Empire. Uh, I don't know, it's very difficult. Or we just leave it and just forget about this part of the world and until um, we need to. So, would 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 take all our units. What the fuck's going on here? I don't like what the Kingdom of Daggerfall are doing here. Okay, I might just negotiate with the orcs. Accepted. Okay, good. We have an alliance with the orcs. Now, like I said, we could forget about them and then move all my armies back over over to the east. We'll take out the the tribunal temple. Once they're done, we'll double back over here and betray, so we won't have to go to war with either of them. That's probably the smartest thing to do. 
Or we could just go and declare war on them, but then we're risking to go to war with the Tamriel Empire, aren't we? I don't know, it's a very difficult situation. I think our best bet is to double time it over there. And of course, they could rebel against the the crown. The forebears could do like declare their own independence, give back, try to retake their sovereignty. Yeah, so that's what I think I'm going to do. But I do want to rally out back to my lands because I have a bad feeling about the kingdom of of Daggerfall here. So there might not be a battle in today's episode. I do apologize about that. So now that that's happened, oh, it's thrown a spanner in the works, hasn't it? We're going to continue to recruit. How far can this... Can that unit get there? I wouldn't be surprised if the Kingdom of Daggerfall betray me. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Okay. Out of all the people about to attack me, I wouldn't have thought that the crown would have done that. So, we've been betrayed. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, my God. Diplomacy has just gone out the bus at the moment. Okay, let's have a look at it then. Alliance in Tatters, the Tamriel Empire and the Crown. Okay, good. That is good. The Tamriel Empire sided with us. So it looks like the two Red Guard factions have united. Right, okay. That is very interesting. I don't know what the Daggerfall people are doing. Who are Daggerfall allies with? The Tamriel Empire. Okay, we're going to put these guys here for the minute. Wow, as if. Okay, well, we're better pushing from this way, I think. Ah, oh, what the hell? I don't believe that. <laughs> and it's Talib. Talibib. Okay, well, we're definitely going to... Yeah, I think we're better off... Moving my armies here, but also I don't want to be attacked by the kingdom of Dagger Falls. I need to rally up my troops. So do we hold at Sentinel and push, or do we move up here and push because it's closer to my lands and just forget about it for the time being? Yeah, I think I'm just going to forget about it for the time being. I'll leave that one arch unit seeing as they, so they can't take it. Oh, fuck, I left the general in there, which I wanted. Uh, I might even leave the mercenaries in there. Fucking hell! I missed. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go rally up and get my reinforcements here. And also it might make them not inclined to attack me as well. Because we're going to need a pretty big offensive to go and push against them. So, we're going to rally up with the king. Um, okay, so we'll put put these two in here. Because then we'll get these reinforcements. We'll put the, the prince with this stack in here as well. Okay. And we'll wait for these guys to come in. I was going to say we could retrain as well. Because we're probably going to need to. I just think we got betrayed by one of our allies. I wouldn't be surprised if the Kingdom of Daggerfall does as well. Okay, we're going to have to push these units down and across now. So I guess we're going to have to go to war with those guys. Fucking hell, that's just such a piss take, isn't it? I'm going to auto-resolve this. So, do I try to take out the crown, or should I just try to eliminate the forebears, because they're a part of the victory condition, and they're probably the weakest? Maybe I should have stayed. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of indecisive. I guess it's going to buy us a little bit more time. I want map information. Trade rights. They'll give me... Are they enemies? Uh, do they still have their sovereignty? No, they still have bent the knee to them. So we're not at war with them. We're neutral with them. 
Because <laughs> that makes sense. Maybe I shouldn't have doubled back. Yeah, I kind of regret that now. I was kind of more... Uh, I, was, I really just didn't want them to attack me. Okay, I think we're going to get rid of the four bears. That's my decision. Um, I probably shouldn't have taken everyone out there. So where did they have settlements again? They have a settlement here. They also have two settlements there. And I do know for a fact that the king, their general's there. So what we're going to do is we're going to push down now. We're going to go for some like sort of pirate sort of tactics. I do know they have a settlement there though as well. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have um, naval superiority anyway, so we should be pretty well right. So this episode's gonna have a lot more micromanaging than anything, I'd imagine. So I do apologise about that. We'll try to get a battle in. We'll just see how we go. I just can't believe that the crown declared war on us. What the actual fuck? What they attacked me at? Oh shit. Okay, okay. They're pushing into my northern provinces. They're actually nearly into Skyrim. <laughs> what is that on that guy's head? Writing here. we still got problems here, but Advar's here. Hoping he can make some of the difference. How's the diplomacy going? Uh, not really changing all that much. Okay, um, whoa. For some reason that put that to military. I have a bad feeling about the Kingdom of Daggerfall. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> okay, let's get the king to disembark. Let's declare war on them. Relationships worsen with the forebears. Because that's who I really want to be at war with. Okay, there's a smaller army here. Uh, sh can I get rid of this? I was going to say we could lift the siege with this smaller army here. Just get rid of him. Oh, we actually killed the general. The general that saved us. Well, fought with us once. I might even leave this army here. Maybe I was stupid to think that we don't need it. Maybe we should try hold this southern pocket. Okay, let's end the turn. Dagenfell has rebelled again, and we are being... Oh! Oh, shit has hit the fan, guys. Oh, no. Okay, this is... Oh. I don't even know where to start now. Argonians return. Okay. Betrayed by the Tamriel Empire. Okay, so... Oh. The Tamriel Empire have broken with the Orcs and the Kingdom of Westray. So the Kingdom of Westray and the Orcs have sided with Skyrim. The Kingdom of Skyrim have broken their alliance with Daggerfall. So we've, we're at war with the Kingdom of Daggerfall. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. I don't know where to... I don't know who to attack now. We're at war with four fact, three factions and... At least the Kingdom of Wayrest and the Orcs are with us. Jesus. So it looks like... Oh, I wouldn't even be surprised if these pricks attack us. Well, now we do have actually an army here. Um, which can actually lift this siege. I guess we'll disembark with Advar. Um, we can't get any reinforcements. I think we'll be able to beat that. We should be able to lift the siege. Okay. I don't know where to turn. I don't know what to defend. Our kingdom is so big, I don't know who we should defeat first. 
We can defeat the Kingdom of Daggerfall really quite quickly. I don't think we should go for victory conditions now. I just think we should go for survival. Uh, so... Well, we might even be able to take this. Okay, we'll take it. Um, five to one will auto-resolve. Now, hopefully, this should eliminate the faction. Did it? No, it didn't. He's the heir. Um, okay. I want to play a battle in today's episode. I want to have a battle. Or maybe I should end the episode here and have a serious think of what we should do and then get your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments. Yep, I think I'm going to end it here. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think I'm best to do. We're at war with the Tamriel Empire, the Clan of the Crown, and the Four Bears. Would the Crown want a peace treaty? The Kingdom of Daggerfall don't want a, an alliance, do they? No, we can't get anything with them. I'm just trying to think we could get rid of the Kingdom of Daggerfall really quite quickly because there's only like five settlements. And then we can take this entire region. We just need to figure out who we need to destroy first. So guys, I'm actually going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you watched it all the way through, I really do appreciate it. I do apologize that there's not been a battle, but there's been a huge diplomacy war. And it's basically myself, the Kingdom of Wayrest and the Orcs, versing the Kingdom of Skyrim and their allies, which are Daggerfall and House Hulu. And then there's another, like, a main faction going on with the, the Red Guards, the Crowned and the... And the who? Who are they? The Four Bears. So maybe we should negotiate with the Old Merry Dominion. Maybe we should try get an alliance with them. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, guys. Bloody hell.